been on your day if you're ready to stay make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up god has given me a prophetic word today and i was gonna put on my makeup but god was like no nah, sis you need to learn how to be natural so i'm learning how to be natural today y'all but um okay so basically yesterday i was editing uh, my video and i was editing my video for my course that i have coming out soon um and i've been having technical difficulties with it and when i was trying to save the video to my phone it was like there's an unknown error send the video to the um app and we can get this problem fixed for y'all but see i don't have all that kind of time so i said satan get your hands off of my destiny get your hands off of my life and get your hands off of this video because this video is what god told me to do and i'm not gonna be disobedient for you i tried to save it again i had to i tried to save this thing three times and it did not work. On the fourth time, I saved the video. I said, you know what? I'm not even going, I'm not even going to stare at my phone. I trust God and I trust that it's going to work. And so the fourth time it worked. And God, what God told me at that moment is he said, I was testing you to see how ready you are. I was testing you to see how serious you are. I was testing you to see if you would give up and if you would stop. And if you really, if this is really what you wanted, if you really wanted to walk into the kingdom and the purpose that I set out for you. Because I didn't give up. Because I didn't give up, he allowed the video to go through. Now, mind you, I want to make some key points here. The first thing I said when it stopped working was, Satan, get your hands off of my destiny, my purpose. Because Satan will Satan will do things to try to stop what God has for you, like uh, make you feel like what you're doing is wrong by trying to like delay you or stop you. And mind you, he can't stop nothing that God sends for you, but he can delay you. And sometimes we confuse our delaying for um, stopping. God says, don't stop. He says, keep going. And the second thing, God says, I was building your muscles. He says, because when you start to walk in the purpose and destiny that I have for you, it ain't going to be easy, sis. He said, you think you about to go into this thing and it's about to be easy peasy, let me squeezy, nah, sis. If you expect it easy, then go on to the world because the world is easy. You know, it's easy to lie. It's easy to drink, steal, kill, destroy. It's easy to sin. But what I got for you is not going to be easy, but it builds up your muscles and it builds your strength. And I found, um... A scripture in my bible it's in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 hey 10 10 completion in jesus name and it says if the axe is dull and its edge is unsharpened more strength is needed but skill will bring success but this skill will bring success so i'm gonna dissect that for y'all if the axe is dull and the edge is unsharpened you know an axe is something that you use to cut down wood and cut down trees okay so if if the knife is dull right it says the more strength that is needed so if you have a dull knife, you're going to need to use more strength to cut through the, you know what I'm saying? To cut through what you're, trying, what you're trying to cut through. It says, but skill is what will bring success. So God could give it to you easy and he could allow this process to be easy, but that does not build success. What builds success is the skill and you learn the skill by having to put more strength in. You learn the skill by giving it more elbow grease. You learn the skill by not giving up. And God was teaching me the skill behind what I was doing. He was teaching me the skill behind my purpose. He was teaching me the skill behind my destiny. He was teaching me the skill behind it because the skill is what brings success. You can teach somebody how, you can give somebody how to, I mean, you can give somebody fish, but if you teach them how to fish, they'll eat fish for a lifetime. So God, right now, if if you if things have been hard, God says, I'm testing you to see how for real you are. I'm testing you to see if you're going to give up when it gets hard because what I have for you, it's going to be hard to obtain. That's why he says, for many are called, but few are chosen because only a few are willing to let God build the skill in Jesus' name. So I just want to leave you with that. That was what God told me, and I know that that's going to bless some of y'all. So that yeah y'all look god shot me with that word and i was like man and he had me sitting on that word for like a, like two days too this is the second day but yeah um the skill is what will bring you success so allow god to build your skill allow him to build your muscles allow him to build your tolerance allow him to build that for you like when people from different countries they can eat spicy food and it's not hot to them because god built well, not God, but their parents uh, have been feeding them spicy food since they were a kid. So God is trying to um, build your skill while you're small, while you're just now starting. Because when you get big and you still have no skill, you will fall. But if you get big and you already have the skill, you will grow. So God is trying to, in, in, in the bigger picture, in the grand scheme of things, he wants you to grow, sis, or grow in Christ. So let God build your muscles. Let God build your skill for the skill is what brings you success, okay?
Love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to give it a thumbs down, I don't know why, because you can't even see it anyway, so you might as well give it a thumbs up too. You can't even see how many thumbs up, thumbs down I get, so you might as well not even put the thumbs down. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my video. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm just Nia J. You don't got to listen to a thing I say. Educate so that I don't generate my lost generations. Love and light, y'all. Peace.